Hi everyone, this is uh, Slashot. So uh, since I got Leon uh, about uh, two and a half weeks ago, um, I have been investing heavily in him, giving him Seal Guardian, Slayer's Emblem, which I've obtained from Timeless Trial SS level. Um, I'm still waiting to get some good armors. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have good heavy armors from the dragon farming yet. Uh, the rate seems to be low even for level 70 nightmare dragons. This is my Leon's current stats. And he has been mastered on two paths to obtain the double you know, class mastery bonuses, more attack overall. Uh, now I'm about to upgrade his bonds, his heart bond, to max. So let's take a look at his heart bond. So he's at level 8 heart bond, everything else maxed. We shall uh, take a look at all the bonuses that he gets. One of the biggest um, advantages of Leo is that his third bond increases the attack of soldiers by 15%. Uh, and Cherry's corresponding third bond only increases defense and magic defense. And this is what separates him apart from um, Cherry. Uh, of course, his chivalry skill is just too OP as well. Right? But this bond here makes his angel hit that much harder than Cherry's. So my Leon actually out damage my Cherry right now. Um, my Cherry is still good in certain situations where she can kill two targets at once. But for very hard contents, uh, sometimes I have to bring Leon, or I bring both Cherry and Leon to snipe targets. Let's upgrade Leon's Heart Bond to max, which will gain him 5% more overall stats. And that will help his DPS and survival uh, as well. Let's do this. Cost, this cost is quite high, and uh, that's okay. So now we have 12 core of supremacy, just enough. But we need to buy from the guild store um, Feather of Meditation. Let's take a look. Feather of Meditation 1. And we need to buy another one, unfortunately. Feather of Meditation 2. Alright, so behold, let's do it. Upgrade! All hero stats plus 5%. Awesome. So, comparing his uh, max heart bomb, 750 HP, 30 defense, 40 magic defense. Okay, so let's look at, for example, Cherry's heart bomb. Um, Interestingly, Cherry has a bit less HP, but uh, slightly higher, 10 higher magic defense. And if you look at Luna's, Luna's is interestingly less magic defense, but more HP. That's interesting, because we actually want uh, more magic defense. Um, that's funny. Uh, and then here's Leden's. Leden's has massive HP boost. Okay, massive HP boost. So uh, that is the max heart bond for Leo. And what we want is that 5% extra stats, so he does even more DPS. Let's take a look at the updated stats for Leo. Now his total power went from 5,999 to 6,146, even with 2 SR here. And that attack, I think, went up like. 20, right? And that's what 5% does to his attack. So he is now even stronger compared to Cherry. Um, for Cherry to DPS uh, as hard as possible, we also need to bring the skill Legion. And the problem then is, um, you know, he, he needs to bring a separate skill called Reinforcement uh, to self heal. While Leon and, 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 and Lightning is not the highest multiplier, but uh, that's that's okay. You can kind of tweak this a bit if you have Tiaris, 
um, and you can then remove reinforcement probably and you could bring more attack skills uh, and comparing that to Leon his chivalry brings reinforcement upon activation and his chivalry brings 30% more attack 10% more than faction buff and he also brings blast in the same skill right 30% uh, so when attacking, if unit HP is above 80%, defense and magic defense increase by 30% before battle. I actually thought it was 30% um, reduction in damage taken. Uh, I'll double check that. I wonder if this is a typo where it's actually increasing defense and magic defense. And if you upgrade him to 6 star, uh, then the defense increased by 20% for every movement. So you let's say you charge your shivery and you charge six distance. And then you get six percent gain in defense. Right? Or if you charge full five length um, you know with before using shivery, then you have a hundred percent defense increase. Right? So coupled with you know blast here, you do you take like very little damage uh, upon offensive attack. And you heal 20% so you keep yourself uh, the HP at full, right? This one single skill basically um, make him the best knight ever, right? Um, he also brings Legion, similar to Cherries, exact same skill, so he can have 10% more attack as well. Uh, and he can bring Assault or Smash, Smash on boss for 20% armor reduction probably uh, and he could bring thousand hooves or more higher multiplier in the damage uh, in PvP you can disable guard you could bring this to smash also disable guard um, in a different way because thousand hooves uh, makes the enemy suffer mobility debuff but if they have mobility immunity they can still guard they, they you won't you will not apply this debuff a smash actually apply a debuff that just says you cannot guard so mobility uh, immunity does not disable the ability of smash to disable the enemy's guard right so smash still goes through uh, mobility immunity and will make the enemy tank unable to guard right? so you could take that into consideration too uh, and you push the target two blocks so you can mess their position. Uh, so there, here is the here is the normal blast skill, right? Normally, blast says if unit HP is above eighty percent, damage taken reduced by thirty percent during battle. But uh, this one here says defense and magic defense increased by thirty percent. I think this may be a typo, but I will do some research to figure this out. Okay, so you look at this 533 plus 355. Then we look at Cherry. 553 plus 356. That's because right now um, Sherry is 5 star. Right? So Sherry and Leon have the highest attack in the game, with Leon having slightly harder than Sherry. So if if Leon is also 5 star, he would do more damage. And I'm working on that. Okay, so his equipment has uh, all right enchant, uh, just okay. I will re-enchant this a few times every day. Hopefully, the roll ten percent attack and the more attack here. Uh, I will upgrade his armor when I get a better heavy armor. Now, just boosting HP. Uh, horror helmet is essential for him to do more damage when he do chivalry near a target and then strike them after. There's fifty percent chance that they will suffer defensive debuff so that your first hit also hits very hard right um, there is a SSR version that does similar things uh, but I do not have it at this point in time uh, let's compare this to cherry uh, so right now I'm still using last night that's that's a free uh, free gift uh, in this game Right, you, you get a free last night as you, when you start the game uh, after I think completing some 
uh, Sherry related missions. Uh, actually, I, I think it's in the same series of missions, a quest uh, that make you obtain Sherry. Um, it's not too bad. It helps fight some bosses when you have 50% chance to reduce their attack. But uh, ideally, you want to change this to uh, Axe, Ragnarok, or Peacemaker. Um, they have 10% attack boost as the skill talent and, and uh, over 100 attack. Right, so you we want to change that eventually once we have it. Um, and the Wing Shin Guards is also a free uh, gift upon I think reaching level 50 or 60, I forgot. And uh, it's okay, uh, a little bit less than Slayer's bonus. Uh, there's less HP in this department, but you get a bit more defense. But the defense is kind of useless uh, if your troop is tanking. Uh, when your troops wipe it out, then it goes to the hero's defense. But when attack defense increase 10%, uh, I think that will help. That will help a little bit uh, since Cherry is likely to go out there and be hit more often and be alone more often than Leon who can retreat. So I'm putting this on uh, Cherry for now. Uh, I got Leon uh, later on, uh, and they have different enchants. So, uh, Rough Sea on Sherry, uh, and Full Moon on Leon. The reason I have Full Moon on Leon is that I'm actually sharing the same set, the same Seal Guardian and the two armor with my Elwin. My Elwin is not uh, as strong yet. He does have an Apex boots. I will, I may re-enchant to get put more attack on him. But in certain boss fights uh, or PVE contents, when I bring only Elwin and not Leon, uh, I will put Seal Guardian and uh, the other two armor. This Dragon Scale armor, uh, as well as the Horror Helmet. On Elwin, uh, and I'm working on upgrading Elwin's shards to 150, uh, like another, um, you know, 70 plus 150, 220 shards, so that he can get six star. Because Elwin he really needs to guarantee self heal every turn to be a good, good infantry and hard PV contents. Versus Leon, who can function quite well at four star, uh, but six star will make him more powerful for sure. A four star Elwin is just not as good. Right? So, uh, Leon's six star will have to wait a little bit, unfortunately. Um, I am upgrading Luna to 150 shards, uh, six star, so that in the upcoming banner with Liana, Bozo, and Luna, if I if uh, I need to get both Bozo and Liana, if I get a copy of Luna, I could swap. 50 shards towards Bozo or Liana and upgrade their stars. That's why I'm pushing Liana to 150 before, uh, I think around April 2nd, 1st, I will be able to do that. And I'm also upgrading Leaden shards right now, so he can tank a bit harder, and that will help him in very difficult fights such as you know, Phoenix, and probably Sheila as well. Uh, if, in fact, Elwin and Ledin would be in both of those fights. Uh, Leon would help in the um, Valkyrie fight, uh, right? So, uh, versus uh, uh, El Elvin is actually key in so many different fights. Uh, that's that's just insane. Thunder Dragon level 70 as well, which is the only dragon I haven't taken down. Uh, so that's why I'm prioritizing Elwin. Uh, arguably, I could bring Elwin into the Sheila fight instead of Leden. Uh, if I bring Chris and young Jessica plus Sher Sherry as well as uh, Liana. Once I get Liana in two weeks, hopefully. All right, so uh, all three will participate in the Phoenix fight. Uh, there is Phoenix coming up tomorrow on Sunday. I don't know if I can actually take down level 65 yet. I was not able to last 
Sunday because um, my three heroes, uh, my Elven was not strong enough to rotate tank the uh, boss unfortunately and let him keep getting unlucky with the random Molten Armor so he just get crushed. Uh, maybe I can take uh, Phoenix with a bit more investment in Elven, getting him to 5 star. Uh, hopefully getting a good weapon on him too. Uh, and then uh, you know some good armor so Leon and Elwin have more HP uh, getting also led into six star so he can tank Phoenix even more all right so uh, the other thing is that I'm working on getting the mask uh, mask made to also uh, level max level 10 so right now they're at level 9 uh, and if I'm able to do that, I would likely shift, I may shift Leon's, uh, I mean, El um, Leden's troop to mass mate in some fights like Valkyrie. Uh, although Leden's off faction, I might still bring him. Uh, Elwin and Leon are on faction, and then I might bring... Luna as a flyer into the level 65 Valkyrie fight. Uh, 4 DPS might be able to do this, and I'm using the Rogue uh, trick. Where's my Rogue? Uh, Rogue trick with Spirit Boots as a Lancer. As a Lancer, so he can flip the boss to a Lancer and move back to safety so that it helps either uh, let in. And Elwin tank Valkyrie on the counter attack. Uh, all right, so uh, now my total power uh, got you know a bit more. And if we look at uh, let's go to Arena to see my top five heroes power twenty nine thousand one hundred fifty two. So. Uh, this is really good, um, and my Leon is more powerful than my Cherry now. My my less than three weeks Leon is more powerful than my three month old Cherry. That's sad. Uh, that's really sad. All right. So thank you for watching. Uh, now you know we celebrated Leon's upgrades to Max Hardball, and we went through some status update and future plan uh, you know uh, hopefully this helps give a sense of uh, where I'm uh, heading towards in the near future when I get Liana and Bozo it will open up uh, a lot of opportunities a lot of options in harder contents as well uh, right now I'm I'm lacking a on faction healer for Sheila uh, you can't bring Almeda because she applies debuff to the boss, and the boss gets stronger with de debuffs applied. So I really need Liana, and Sophia cannot keep everyone up. Uh, similarly, in the Phoenix fight, Sophia is off faction, so I really need Liana as well, along with Almeda. Uh, so in two weeks, I think we'll be able to do a lot more, and we'll keep uh, upgrading our heroes. Heroes, meanwhile. Thank you for watching, slash out out.